Now that we're in the game, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the heads-up display. We'll start at the top left. This button will take you back to the home screen. The next button will cycle you through the available cameras in the game. The next brings up the map. On the left side of the map, you can see how many challenges completed, races completed, and goats found. On the right side of those symbols, you can see the color legend for identifying those things on the map. We also have a zoom option and transparency option so that you can leave it up while you play if you choose to. To get rid of it entirely, press the map again. These are the in-app purchases, I will be coming back to those. Here we have the two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive selector, differential locker, both front, rear, and none, and then high and low range. Down at the bottom right, we have the tachometer, we have the gear indicator, odometer, and speedometer. On the bottom left, we have an inclinometer, a compass, a winch, and a reset button in case you are stuck or upside down. The controls are gas, brake, e-brake, and your steering wheel. The steering wheel can be pulled left and right as it normally would be, and you can also extend your reach and have very precise, delicate movements. Going back to the in-app purchases, press the plus sign on either the blue or green box at the top of the screen. That will take you here. Across the entire top row, you can see that you can purchase multipliers, which all stack and continue to add. They also come with bonus credit. The next row is to buy just credit alone. You also have the option here to watch an ad for a thousand credit. Down across the entire bottom row, you can like all of our sponsors pages for another thousand credit apiece. Back button on the bottom left and we're back to the game.